The League is betrayed in Justice League issue 18. As Superman rushes off to deal with the Timeless, Lois and John are left at the gas station, enveloped in the white light that crosses the Earth. An army of aliens arrive, taking the two prisoner. Elsewhere in time, Tempest says that he has kidnapped Clark's family and he will hold them hostage until his plan is finished. Tempest reiterates that Superman and his family are not what they think they are, and them being unknowns in this universe makes them dangerous. Increasing the red sun radiation in the chamber, Tempest's men begin to overpower the Man of Steel. Elsewhere in the ship, Batman, now donning Luther's Superman armor, sneaks through the superstructure with Jane. Earlier, as Batman suits up in the armor, he realizes that the Infinity Corp employees are all from his future but won't tell him any of the specifics. In the present time, Molly notes that her plan didn't work and Earth's timeline is still skewed. It's not long before some of the Timeless find her and capture her. All across the timelines, the Justice League fight off the Timeless armies, and Cyborg runs into some trouble when he discovers he can't create boom tubes or he will destroy the planet, so he is forced to fight the army with more conventional methods. At the Infinity Building, Alexis and Vincent track Superman's fight with Tempest and his army. Vincent notices that the energy from Tempest is much like his own brainwave energy, technically making Tempest related to him in a way. Batman radios in that he and Jane are in position above the chamber. Straining the limits of their exosuits, Batman unhinges a piece of the ship, dropping it into the chamber where Superman is, allowing the yellow sunlight to bathe the hero and return his power. Regrouping, Superman says that he can see Tempest's energy readings with his powers, and thanks to that, he sees Tempest is just a hologram, and his mind is virtual and inside the ship. Attacking the ship, the timeless armies all across time fall unconscious, defeated allowing the League to find the center of the machines and interface with them. As the powers of magic, the gods, the speed force, and the light all connect, Molly takes the power, proclaiming that she will kill every hero on the world and save the timeline. Justice League issue 18 offered us more time traveling action as the story reached its penultimate issue with Molly turning out to be another villain the League has to deal with now. This issue also weirdly focused on the Infinity Corp members helping out Batman and Superman uh, who took up most of the rest of the book while the other Leaguers unfortunately barely got any time which is strange since the plot actively involves them in an integral mission they all have massive parts to play in this if one fails everyone fails and it's kind of sad as well because each of them got sent to a really interesting part of time like i'd like to see more of that old atlantis where it was still on the surface or a mount olympus with diana and her people and everything or even like barry's timeline which was just before he became the flash i think that would have been really cool if we got to see a little bit more of that but we didn't unfortunately i'm going to give this issue a six out of ten Thanks for watching, remember to leave a comment in the comment section below or follow the links on screen now to other reviews or topic videos. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe for more weekly reviews and videos.